It's Create Day, my friends. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to make over this wooden plate that I got from the thrift store and it had some staining on it so I clear coated it with a sealer so I could minimize the bleed through when I painted on it and I'm just starting with a coat of gesso as a primer. I paint the front and the back of the plate and then I want to go in with some brown acrylic paint. I brush on the first coat and then I use a sponge to do the second coat in order to get rid of all the brush strokes. I wanted this color underneath because originally I was going to do a crackle finish so I wanted the brown to show through in the crackling. I also sponged around those edges so that I can just kind of gently blend that down into the edge of the plate. Once that was dry, I did a coat of cottage white front and back. And this was the color that I wanted to put the crackle effect on top of um, so that it would be a white with the brown showing through. And I did the same process, brushed it on, and then I did a second coat with sponging it on to remove the brush strokes. Now here's where things didn't go well. I have this one step crackle. The instructions were not really clear. It just said to apply over acrylic paint. And I did that. I had let the paint mostly dry and nothing happened. And then I tried doing a piece on this cardboard um, to see if it would work if the paint was wet when I put the crackle on. And that didn't work either. So I need to experiment more with that and for this, the sake of this project, I decided to just sand all that off and start over and do something different. So I'm using a rub-on transfer from the IOD Figgy Pudding and I want to use this little bird. So I just cut him out and then tape him in place so that I can remove the backing underneath and uh, then I can just press him down and then using the little rub-on stick uh, I can transfer this image onto my plate. So you just rub over the image and you can tell when you start to peel it up if there's anything that's not adhered. You can just lay it back down and rub some more until the entire image is transferred onto your piece. Once the image is completely transferred, you just use that same transfer sheet to burnish over to make sure everything is adhered really well. For the next step I will be using pale blue and white acrylic paint to sponge on around the bird. I'm going to be using a big sponge, um, a dauber, a small one, and a paintbrush to get in around the image. And so I just mix until I get the color that I think I want. And then I go in with the big one first and just kind of lay down, um, you know, a light color over the bigger areas. And then I can go in with my paintbrush and get around the bird and the branches. And then I have a smaller um, sponge dauber that I can use to fill in some of the in-between spaces. Okay. 
So now I'm going to be using those same two colors again, but I will also incorporate some of the base color, which was the cottage white. But first I mix the blue and the white together in a lighter shade than I had originally done so that I can layer yet another color variation onto this plate. And again, I use my paintbrush to go around the branches that kind of extend up onto the rim of the plate. And so here I have the two colors, and now I'm going to incorporate that base coat of cottage white. And we're going to go around the entire edge of the plate. So I'm just trying to really do a gradual, almost like an ombre, um, from the base coat down into the blue and white mixture of the paint. And so now I want to add some of the enchanted shimmer to the snow that's on the branches and the little bird's feet. Just gives it a little bit of sparkle. And of course I have to add in some air dry clay. So I just have this one little piece from the IOD Mold Olive Crest that I want to add to the top of the plate. So I put some cornstarch in my mold, press it in there, and then scrape off all the excess. Roll it out. And then I will go around with a damp paintbrush, just dip it in some water, and smooth out all the edges. Then just using some of my Turbo Tacky Glue, I go ahead and glue that onto the top of the plate. I let the clay dry for 24 hours and then I went in with my gesso just to give it a base coat. I also wanted to bring back some of the distressing uh, so I used a fine grit sandpaper to go around the edges. Now for the clay mold I want to paint two different shades of brown. I'm using the darker one first, a little watered down. I want to get it down into all the um, recessed areas of this mold. And then I can go over it with the lighter brown to highlight the raised areas. This was pretty tedious. I had to try and avoid getting it all over the plate where the clay meets the plate. Um, it took a little time, but uh, now I'm just adding that lighter brown with my little tiny sponge dauber to highlight the raised areas. And now with those same two browns, I'm going to water them down a little bit, mix them together, and just do a splatter effect across the plate. And now I'm going to do the same splatter effect with the cottage white. So now I'm going to add some gilding wax in the color pearl. I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger and I'm applying it on the raised edges of the mold on top of my plate and then I will also go around the edges of the plate as well 
it adds a little bit of sparkle and shimmer and just another layer of dimension. Now I'm just going to use a matte finish sealer to go over the entire plate. The last thing I want to do is add some greenery. So I wanted to go ahead and use uh, some lamb's ear and a pine cone. So I painted them white just around the edges to give them a snowy look, but I did not like the way those looked on there. They were out of proportion. The leaves were too big, so I ripped it off, and I went back in with some smaller leaves. And then um, just a little, I cut off a little couple little sprigs off of um, a different Christmas pick that was this right there. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's like a snow on it. It's just kind of, I just layered that over the leaves and then added my pine cone. And I just felt like these smaller pieces uh, looked a lot better. It was more in proportion with the size of the mold on top. So that's how this turned out. I did go in and add a little bit more of the white paint around the pine cone and the uh, other embellishments I put on there. And then that was it. So let me know what you think about this little quick and easy thrift flip. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I hope I've inspired you to go create something. See you next time.